Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you on how to use GPT for Slides Builder. So starting off, you want to head over to Extensions, go to Add-ons, click on Get Add-ons, and from here search up GPT for Slides Builder. And it should pop up right here. And after you have installed it, you want to click off here, head back to Extensions, and it should pop up right here. And then click on Open Sidebar. After it opens, this is where you, you will configure everything for your slide. One of the best features about this add-on is that you can create as many slides as you want to be generated. So for me, I'm just going to make two and I'm going to put it next to the box. And then you're going to write a description for the slides of what you want on the slides itself. So I'm just going to write Japan. I want a Japan themed slide for each of the two slides. And after that, you can either click on create or you can head to additional settings where you can change some stuff up. For example, the image positioning. So each slide will have an AI generated image and an, a normal image itself. And image positioning is where the normal image is going to be located. So I want it to be located on the left side. You can make it on the left or right, whichever you prefer. You can create a background image, which is the generated image. So I'm going to click on yes for that. And then the background image opacity, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to make it 80%. And then I'm going to click on save to save my settings for next time. And after I'm done configuring everything, I'm going to click on create. And it's going to take a while based on the amount of slides that you have created. And after it's done generating the slides, it's going to say all slides created. And from here, we can look at each slide right here. So over here, we got the image positioning on the left, which I chose. We got the generated image, which is at 80% opacity. We got another one right here, image on the left side, generated image on the right side. And here's some information. Here's information about Jap Japan itself. And then if we go back to the configurator, we can see click to see GPT response. And if you hover over it, it will show you additional information the max response tokens, how much it used, how long it took. Temperature is the accuracy of your of the information and which model it used and the demo tokens. But this is basically how you use GPT Slide Builder. This is a very useful tool and you can create as many slides as you want, which makes it very useful and very good.